Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are the four operations, the fantastic four operations. What's going on, y'all? The name's addition. Joining things together, you know that's my mission. Got two or more amounts and you want to combine them. Well, I'm the groovy one that'll help you find the sum. My turn, my turn, my turn. I'm subtraction. And I'm so fancy with three types of action. Let's say you have a hole and you want to separate. A piece from it and find what's left, what remains. I can also compare to find the difference in two values. Like how many more shoes do I have than you? And finally, action three. Try not to get confused. Here's a part and a hole. And hey, who are you? Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. Moving, moving on. Here comes multiplication. You know what's me when you see repeated addition. Or like four shelves and six books on a bookcase. Hey, you know what? That kind of looks like an array. If you're working for three days, earning five dollars each. Check it out. You've got groups of equal things. Do you like to skip count to find the total or the product? We'll pop in the multiplication mashup. Last but not least, you can call me division. Equal splitting is my job, a.k.a. partition. With me, you know the total, but you're trying to figure out the number of groups or the amount in each. That's right, I'm all about finding that quotient. <laughs> Multiplication and division are inverse operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We are the four operations, the fantastic four operations. <laughs> well, we might need to work on that ending a little bit, but that was great, y'all.